It says, what do you think about the possibility of antimatter propulsion for future space travel? And what kind of restrictions does it currently face? Well, currently, antimatter is about a few trillion dollars per gram. Okay? There's only less than a gram of antimatter in, ever produced in uh, various colliders like the Large Hadron Collider and so on. Tremendously expensive to make. And very small quantities exist. In the future, if we have reasonably good amounts of antimatter, great fuel for future space travel, great fuel for energy generation. Okay? But right now, the constraint we face is that the technologies that we have are very, very prim primitive and rudimentary. So the restriction that we face, the constraint we face is that our technology, which produces antimatter, is extraordinarily expensive. The Large Hadron Collider, you know, the, the energy budget is that of a small country per year. And then only, even after that much energy, consuming that much, that much energy, it produces a fraction of a gram of antimatter per, per year. So that is why antimatter is, is, I don't know, hundreds of trillions of dollars per gram. That's the, the main constraint and restriction. It's ridiculously expensive to, to create. And even with all that money spent, we can create only a little, much, little bit of it. In the future, if, we, if and when the technology advances, then anti antimatter will be a brilliant fuel for future space travel and also for future energy generation.